All right, today's video involves uh, a little bit of a fail for me. Basically, uh, I found an amazing deal for these Thule Criterion bike carriers. And once I got home, I realized that they do not fit these Aero Thule uh, bars. So I'll show you what it looks like in a second. So here you can see that this little holder thing here can't even wrap itself around and there's no way to sort of stretch it. So first I thought, okay, that's a big fail for me. But then uh, I did a little bit of research, found out that this is actually quite a common issue as people, you know, upgrade these uh, to these new bar system. The solution is actually quite simple. $20, uh, $30, depending on where you're buying it from, these uh, X-Adapt 8 uh, screws that essentially help you adapt it and attach it. So basically, this is what we're gonna do today, see how it works. And um, depending on how I work this out, I might actually scan the instruction booklet and put it as a downloadable link in case anybody's curious about it. So here we go. So here are the instructions. Quickly, quickly. Obviously you can't really do much with on video instructions, but like this, but so essentially I'll scan this and put this in the description of the video in case anybody wants to download the file. Essentially what simple things that needs to be done is replace this screw here with the new ones and it should be a straightforward attachment after that so technically I don't need this anymore and I need to remove this part but straightforward just All right, this comes out very easily. Just unscrew it. Got this little thing part here that needs to stay on. Now the same thing for these ones. Take them off. It comes out very, very easily. And then unscrew these ones. There we go. Essentially exactly the same part, front and back. Next part is you can actually put the screws on first. You have to put the screws on to the, uh, the arrow bars uh, and then screw it on. So here's how it works. Uh, don't scratch my car. All right, cool. One screw, two screws, and I actually have an extra one. Because I don't need four, I only need three. So, same thing here. Little note that uh, the package, the Adapt, the Zadapt or X Adapt 8 comes with two A screws and two B, and, and uh, sorry, actually comes with three it's right there three of these t-bolts 61 millimeters and one 35 millimeters but in the end i only need two of the long ones and one of the short ones so but you know it's always a good idea to have extra parts when it comes to these tule racks so that's that all right let's get these in place about the area where I want. Let's see how this goes. There we go. There's one. All right. Here's two. So perfect fit. Well, at least it feels like a perfect fit. And now to put the clampers back on.
works. Oh, it's a little hard, especially one-handed with a camera. There we go. I think I got it. That's it. It's actually very, very simple. A lot simpler than I expected. Just screw this back on. All right. So got it screwed up. Then locked into place. Highly recommend to get the lock. Obviously, you don't want somebody to take this away. These Thule's are not cheap. They keep their value, which is why I love them. Um, so essentially, there's that one. Not a back one. Interestingly enough, I think the shorter one is good enough. So I'll just switch that up. Now, now I'm not 100% sure. I know the other hole was here. There's three holes here. Obviously, this one's not a good one, but there's two of them. So they fit in both, but I'm going to put it in the middle. It feels like it'd be more secure, more tight, snug fit. Lesson learned, be careful with these clampers because these little uh, screw parts here uh, tend to fall off very easily. And they're very tiny, so they can, can get lost. So there you have it, installed and extremely secure and way easier than I thought it would be. Uh, because there was no video showing how easy it was online, Thanks for watching and see you on the next one.